What's up guys, this is the official Brit, and welcome to my third wager match. Now, I'm very sorry, I'm doing this post-production editing. Um, when I got my webcam um, for, the, for this third game against Zach, um, he took a while to accept the request, so I stopped all the recordings uh, so I wouldn't lose space. When I went to start again, because he finally turned up like 10 minutes after I sent the invite, I recorded the game footage but forgot to press record on my webcam. So, I'm going to have to, um, it's a little bit annoying, uh, it's the one time it's going to happen, don't worry, I everything else should be sorted out for the rest of the episodes, but I'll be narrating over it, basically, like in a post-production sense, and some of the audio uh, was kept, because you can still hear it from the camera itself that was recording, but it's sort of fuzzy, so whenever there's a goal, I'll cut to the, um, like the the live footage, so you can hear my actual like live reactions. But until then, if it's like a normal highlight, you know, it'll just be regular commentary. Uh, but sorry about that. But um, anyway, as you can see by the footage that's about to come, I decided to change my team, and you're about to see the process by which it happened. So enjoy the video. So I went on to Foothead, and I was like, hmm. Someone's got Di Maria. So I clicked on the link and I was like, whoa, Manchester United Di Maria. That's pretty cool. So clear there are some transferred cards. So I was like, well, let's go check out uh, Man U Di Maria. So I clicked on the thing. And so I scrolled down a bit and I was like, not bad, not bad. Take a look at the top comment. Some hardcore banter. Pretty nice, pretty nice about how Man U suck. I looked at his foothead, hot rank. He's ranked second. I was like, I wonder who ranks first. I was like, whoa, Mario Balotelli got a Liverpool card. That looks pretty sexy. So I checked out the card and I was like, not bad, not bad. Same as his AC Milan card, but this could be good. You know, maybe I could put him a squad with someone like Sturridge. You know, I was like, Balotelli and Sturridge up front, that would be a pretty good squad. I mean, Balotelli's going to be ridiculously expensive because he's a new transferred card. But hey, why not? I've got coins. As long as I don't lose any matches, I should be okay. So I was like, all right, let's throw Balotelli in and... uh Let's throw, uh, let's throw Sturridge in. So I was like, hmm, who can I put at Cam? Someone who preferably has double green link, so I don't have to extra, you know, do any more hybridizing. So I was like, all right, let's go look for some, uh, let's go look for some green links that connect to Mario Balotelli. So I was like, hmm, let's, let's click on the thing. And then I saw, I was like, whoa, Luby Suarez. Yep, he'd be a pretty good choice, and I, I, you know, I checked him out. I clicked on him, and I was like, 76 passing. You would be a perfect cam. You've got insane long shots, uh, high medium, all the skills, and all of that stuff. I was like, yeah, you are definitely going into my squad. So I was like, all right, we've got that front three. You know, Suarez at cam, Sturridge and Balotelli. This it, this is nice. So uh, you know, I put those players in the squad three five two because the four three three really wasn't working out for me. So I, uh, you know, I did that, and I was like, hmm, now, now, now what do I do? Let's get the rest of this squad. Left mid, yep, Royce, you know, because Royce is probably, like I said, Royce is my favorite left midfield. And I was like, Gundigan, because we need a hyperlink if we want to have Boatang, because then we're going to put Boatang, and then we can get Neuer in goal. And Neuer's my favorite goalkeeper in the game. So I was like, that's not bad. I mean, Gundigan's got high medium, but that kind of sucks. Hmm, center backs. I like David Luiz, but his Chelsea card, we've already got the BPL, so we'll go PSG. Thiago Silva, David Luiz, oh Lucas, you know, incredibly overpowered right midfield, and then Matawidi, because why not? And I was like, nah, Gundogan, I'm not feeling it, let's get another hyperlink in there, so we went Schweinsteiger, and Schweinsteiger is an absolute god. So there is the new team, and let's see how effective it actually is, because the first team has sucked. And here's the new team. So let's give it a go. So as you can see, there is a squad in action in my squad builder screen on the Xbox. So he sends me an invite. I click on his thing. Sorry for the shaky camera. I accept his invite. And as I go into the game screen, I notice, hey, my friend Kevin Spark came online. His squad name is Sorry Sam, so I was expecting some kind of legend thing, because he's got a ridiculous amount of coins, even more than I got after, like, the coins he gave me were his leftovers. So he said Sorry Sam, and I was like, you know, what am I, what am I going to come up against? But a light lens, and I end up seeing it is a very sweaty Serie A team, Ibarbo and Gomez, and I was just like, great, this 
This is going to be very, very entertaining. But hopefully we can still win, because we kind of need a win right now. So, quickly jumping into the game, bit of fast motion, we get straight in, and he does some subs. And I was like, are you going to do some subs? And he actually didn't. So the game kicks off, and I get the ball straight off the kickoff. He tries to do it, and I start playing it out wide. And guess what? Look how we start this game. There we go. No way. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's how we start. Second minute goal. Oh, there we go. Just give it to him and then right foot. There. Right in. Come on. So then he brings on someone who could very easily be team of the season, Defoe. And I got a little bit worried. So I came a little closer, just a few minutes afterwards, when I sent Sturridge through on goal, but I just couldn't get it onto his left foot, and Chiellini came across and stopped me, so that was a close one. So then later on in the half, Sturridge goes through on goal, he charges his goalkeeper out, and I thought, what do I do? I sweat the ball, and Balotelli just puts it in the back of the net, sweaty goal. I tell him to calm down, trying to entice the madness, to see if he would rage. You never know. So, yeah, he did kind of rage via text. I believe that is the definition of rage. LOL! So then the half promptly ended, and the score was 2-0 to me. I was feeling pretty damn happy. Balotelli was, you know, paying off, his, paying off his investment, and I got to look at my storage chip again, which was pretty sexy, and then I almost got to see the Balotelli sweat. But he sort of stopped it right at the end. So I thought, you know, during the game I thought that Matawidi was a little bit too short. And I still have money match Pogba from the last team on the bench. I would sold him, because hopefully I won't need to if I lose. But, um, so I thought, you know, I'll take off Matawidi and bring on Pogba, because Pogba's got insane defending stats. And that's how I went into the second half. So then he brought on Martins and Dempsey, who were probably also team of the season players. So again, I was a little bit scared, but I was still 2-0 up for the second half. But knowing my losing streak, I was not going to hold this lead for long, and suddenly Mario Gomez goes through. I think he's going to chip it, and he ends up putting it in the bottom left-hand corner. So I was a little bit mad, but I still had a 2-1 lead, so that was the positive I drew from that. And then, thank goodness, this happened. With Balotelli, there he is. Balotelli, there we go. Balotelli, oh, God, absolute beast. It's at this point I realised my webcam's not actually working. Is this? Oh, my God. And from then on, I didn't actually talk for the rest of the entire video. And then, of course, knowing my luck, he puts Martins through. I almost get him, but he hits a shot with his left foot. Not much you can do about that, really. He puts the goal in, and the score was 3-2. And I had, like, there was, like, 10 minutes to go in the game. It was getting pretty damn stressful, not gonna lie. In fact, the only noticeable chance was a long shot from Pogba, which just went wide. But if that had gone in, that would have been a pretty sexy highlight. And then it was the 90th minute. He played the ball over, but my defender headed it back to Neuer. I didn't want to be accused of time wasters, so I just kicked it. And the game was over. We finally, finally won our first game. 3-2. 3-2 we beat Zach, which means the next game against Doug will be for 200k. And wow, Balotelli really did repay the investment. I was super psyched at finally getting this result. His team clearly doesn't look very happy. But we did it. We escaped. We did not have to pay. Which means the next game against Doug, like I said, was for 200k. And we got the result we were looking for. So yeah, this is the official grit. I hope you enjoyed this. I finally got a win. And yeah, goodbye.